Sounds like a whirlwind. It has been a whirlwind. I've been visiting hospitals in various cities, catching up on the latest advancements in modern medicine. It's true. Medical science has been making amazing advances. If only we could advance the thinking of the doctors. Lily, how do you mean, miss? Yesterday, a man was turned away from the hospital where I work because his skin was the wrong color. Uh, Dr. Gresham, I have to apologize for our daughter. I can assure you, Miss Fro, no one has ever been turned away from our hospital due to the color of their skin or their religious beliefs. That would be against everything we believe in. Dr. Gresham, I'd like to show you something. Isn't it beautiful? It's very handsome. It was my brother's. He was training to be a doctor when he died. I'm sorry, Mr. Rowe. I want to donate it to your mission. Hmm. You can use a truck, can't you? Of course. And I appreciate the offer, but there's no way to get this to our hospital. Why not? Well, for one thing, the railroad only goes a third of the way, and the roads are just rough trails cut through the mountains. Goat paths, really. I'll find a way to get it there. I want it to serve a purpose. Are you sure it isn't you that wants to serve a purpose, Miss Rowe? I suppose I'm, I'm looking for something, some way to contribute. Well, whatever that is, I'm sure you'll find it. I hope we meet again one day. I hope so, too. Europe's on the verge of war. It is no guarantee that the truck or the medical supplies would ever reach Dr. Gresham's hospital. But what if I took them myself? What do you mean? Sail to Istanbul and make sure they get the rest of the way. Or deliver them in person? Yes. Lily, your heart's in the right place. But uh, this journey is far too dangerous. Oh, it's unimaginable. Out of the question. A young woman on her own in that part of the world. No. I've already made the arrangements. You did what? I've already booked the passage for myself and the supplies. I used my inheritance from grandmother. Lily, it's not a matter of money. Look, you're 23 years old. All your friends are married and raising families. Now, up until now, we've indulged your whims. Whims? Nursing school. You work with the poor. Lily, it's time to settle down, not run away to the other side of the world. I'm sorry, dear. We cannot possibly allow this. Yeah, absolutely not. I love you both. But this is something I have to do. Lily? Lily?
Miss Rowe, mm -hmm. your goods will be unloaded shortly. Thank you, Thomas. Welcome to Istanbul greeting. He drops the brush, you pick it up, and suddenly you're getting the most expensive shoe shine in the world. I, I'm sorry, sir. I'm, I'm all right. Thank you. Seni ayağımın altına almadan. Hemen toz o çocuk. Neden kızıyorsun bana? Thank you. You're welcome. Are you American? Yes. I, I, I wanted to see the mosque. Could you tell me how to get there? Well, I could. It might be easier if I just show you. Come on, you don't want to miss the most beautiful mask in Istanbul, do you? Come on! Here's our time inside God's thoughts has come to an end. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Lieutenant Ismail Veli of the Ottoman Imperial Army. When I'm not playing tour guide to young American ladies. Lillian Rowe. Oh, I hope your visit to my country is a pleasant one, Miss Rowe. Pleasant but brief. There's a war coming. <laughs> 